Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Review for today, Thursday, the 2nd of June 2022. I'm carrying the magic of Open Heavens is authored by Daddy in the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Open Heavens is a guide to a close fellowship with God. Let us pray. Father, we want to say thank you for another opportunity to learn at your feet. Thank you for your faithfulness towards us. We say, Blessed be your name, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, even as we learn at your feet today, we pray that you will give us greater understanding of your word, that your word will indeed illuminate our lives, and that the working wonder of your word will find expression in our lives. You give us the grace to be doers, not only hearers of your word, in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise to Lord. Hallelujah. The topic for today is Love Protects. Love Protects. Our memory verse is taken from the book of Romans 8 verse 31. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Romans 8 verse 31. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Our Bible reading shall be taken from the book of Romans 10 verse 11 to 15. Romans 10 verse 11 to 15. I'll be reading the New King James Version. I'm the good shepherd, and the good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. By hiring he who is not shepherd, one who does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees, and the wolf catches the sheep and scatters them. The hireling flees because he is a hireling and does not care about the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know my sheep and I am known by my own. As the Father knows me, even so I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. May the Lord bless the reading of his words in our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. The Message When Jesus was physically leaving the earth, he assured his disciples that he would never leave them, that he would always be with them until the end of age. Matthew 28 verse 20 he gives us, his disciples, great comfort. If he had not said until the end of age, you would wonder if he was protecting us now from all the evil in the world. However, he said his protection will continue until the end of age. He assures us in Isaiah 60 verse 2, For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee and give, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Amen. Although there is much chaos in the world, there is no need to panic. If you are truly a child of God, Jesus already assured us in John 16 verse 33 that though there may be tribulations in the world, we should cheer up. We should be cheerful because he has overcome the world. If anyone can testify about the protection of God, it is I. Many years ago, during one of our Holy Ghost services in Nigeria, as I got on the altar to preach, the Lord opened my ears and I heard a conversation going on between two witches who were preparing to launch an attack on my life at that moment. I announced that I could hear the two witches and if they did not want to die within seven days, they should come out and repent. To the amazement of the congregation, the witches came out. In 2 Kings 6, 14-17, Elijah's servant was afraid when he saw an entire army surrounding them, ready to attack. Elisha, however, was relaxed because he knew that the one protecting him was far greater than the army outside the city. He prayed for God to open the servant's eyes and when the young man saw the number of heavenly soldiers who were on their side, he became relaxed too. If you have been toying with sin, you have actually been toying with your life because the good shepherd will only protect his sheep. Only those who are truly children of God are safe in the secret place of the Most High God. Psalm 91 verse 1 Praise the Lord! Hallelujah. And today we are being made to understand that love protects. We are made to understand yesterday that our Father, our God, loves us so much 
that he, he did not spare even his only begotten son. So we're also made to understand that, and as a result of that, he gave his only begotten son. Today we're being made to understand that our God loves us so much that he protects us. Like we're made to understand that when Jesus Christ was physically departing the earth, he assured his disciples that he would never leave them. That is to say, he will protect them. He told them that I am with you always, even to the end of age. That is to the very end. That is to say, even when this earth is changing, when there's a lot of transformation, you should be assured of one thing, that he will always be with you, even to the very end of age. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said he will always be with them until the end of age. And this is to give you and I great comfort as his disciples and as his children. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So like Adadi said, he said if, when he has said to the end of age, you would wonder if he was protecting us now from all the evil in the world. Yes, he's protecting us now. He's protecting you from whatever it is that might want to be for you. He said in the book of Isaiah 60 verse 2, that for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. And darkness is covering the earth right now. A lot of things are happening. But for you and I, we do not need to panic. He said, and gross darkness of people, for the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon you. That is the promise he has given unto you and I. He said, even if you, you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, he said, if the psalmist says, even if I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. You know, what the, one of the things the devil wants to consume us with, even the, one of the, the aspects, the one of the ways that the devil defeat a lot of people is by putting fear into their heart is by lying and deceiving them but we are made to understand that god loves us so much that he will protect us and he has said it that he will be with us as far as you are his child just like from the bible reading we read today as far as long as you are his sheep you should be rest assured that no matter where it is that you are no matter how terrible the situation of things may be you should know that he is with you. Not only is he with you, he is protecting you. He will keep you even when you walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So for we children of God, when life is throwing different things at people, you and I should be relaxed. It is not the time for us to panic and be afraid. Just like he said in John 16 verse 63. He said tribulations, what will separate us? You know, from the love of God. Is this tribulation? He said, we should share up. Because he has overcome the world for you and I. So when you look at the tribulations and everything, remember the word of God. Because he faileth not. He is a faithful God. He has said, you and I, we should be cheerful. Because he has overcome it. He's not just going to overcome it. It is already a finished work. It is just left for you and I to take advantage of the promise, to take advantage of the finished work that he has done on her behalf. Praise to Lord. Hallelujah. Our daddy also gave an example, an instance of how God protects. He said, if we want to talk about somebody that has enjoyed or can testify of the protection of the Lord, that it is him. And he gave an example. Some witches were discussing how they were going to attack him. You can imagine, in the midst of so many crowds in the whole, at the Holy Ghost service, and God opened his ears so he could hear them. And he made him a terror unto those people. And he had to tell them that if they do not come out to confess, they will die within seven days. These were the people that were plotting. But then he, he, he threatened them. And it was not an empty threat. And they were frigating. They, they had no choice but to come out. This is just one of the ways that our God protects us. Our God keeps us. Another example that, that the Lord gave today is, is, you know, in 2 Kings 6 verse 14 to 17. When some mighty soldiers, you know, came to um, Eli the prophet Elisha. You know, when Elisha's... And Elijah's servant was very afraid when he saw the entire army surrounding them. Probably right now, you are also seeing a lot of issues surrounding you. You are saying that, is it only me? 
I'm going through this, I'm going through that. Oh, you should be rest assured that the Lord is with you. You know, he is there, he, is, he, he never sleeps nor slumber. And he could see that he was, he, he was so afraid. And Elisha told him that they that are with him are greater than they that I, you know, those ones that he's seen. And you should also know that provided you are a child of God and you are in right standing with him, those that are with you are group, ah, they exceed those troubles that you are going through. They exceed those power of the kingdom of darkness that might be troubling you. And they are way, they exceed them in power, in strength, in numbers. So that should keep you relaxed. So that you, and you could see that for Elisha, he was relaxed. In fact, he had to tell God, please open his eyes. So that he will know the reason why I'm this calf and relaxed. When the eyes of the servant of Elisha was open, he also, he could not panic again. Because he was, you know, his confidence would have, you know, built up. I can imagine he would have had his shoulder you know, raised eye immediately, knowing fully well that he has the host of angels with him who were ready to fight battles. Even right now, as it is, as it was then, so is it now. Because our God faileth not, he changeth not. He is the same yesterday, today and forevermore. Provided you are in right standing with him, you should be rest assured that he is protecting you, that he will not leave you nor forsake you. The greater is he that is in you, than he that is in the world. Now you do not need to concentrate on those problems and challenges, but rather you should look up to God, the author and the finisher of your faith. May the Lord give us even greater understanding of this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Also, you know, with this understanding, if you are still toying with sin, if you are not in the right standing with God, if you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, who is the good shepherd, then you should know that you are shortchanging yourself and you are toying with your life. That is, it is a dangerous game you are playing. You know, because the good shepherd will protect, is there to protect, especially in this perilous time, especially in this time that a lot is happening both physically and spiritually. And the good shepherd is not only ready to protect you from thieves, you know, from some attack, but even from demonic and spiritual attack. Praise the Lord. So why don't you come to him? If we look at that Bible reading we read today, he made us understand. He said he's not an hireling. What would an hireling? He said, but the hireling, who is not the shepherd? One who does not own the sheep. When he sees wolf coming, he leaves the sheep and flees. And the wolf will catch the sheep and scatter them. But I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and I'm known by my own. If we look at the, you know, he's he, he's not just a shepherd, but a good one at that. He said, what shall we then say of these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He's a good shepherd. Who will not run because a wolf is coming? But he will destroy the wolf for your sake. Because he is a good shepherd. If he is for you, you can be rest assured. That nothing can be against you. You can be rest assured that he has already conquered the world. Even before you and I were born. He had made the provision for our protection. Even before you and I were born. So why don't you come to Jesus Christ today? So are you a sheep? Are you one of the sheep of the good shepherd? That is the question you should ask yourself today. Are you one of the sheep of the good shepherd? If you are one of the sheep of the good shepherd. I congratulate you. I congratulate you and I praise the Lord on your behalf. And I pray in the name of Jesus that the grace to continually be a shepherd. Oh, for the good shepherd. To continually be a sheep. For the good shepherd the Lord will give unto you in Jesus' name. So are you one of the sheep of the good shepherd? Peradventure, you are not. You are yet to give your life to Christ. You are not in right standing with him. Why don't you quit shortchanging yourself? Why don't you quit toying with sin? Why don't you pitch your tent and embrace Jesus Christ and ask him to come into your life to make your home his abode and guide you and be a shepherd upon your life so that he can protect you. The word of God in Psalm 91 verse 1, it says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. 
That is to say, it is those that dwell in the secret place that will enjoy his protection. And you dwell in the secret place of the Most High by conforming to him, by renewing your mind daily and not conforming to the world, by, by obeying his instruction, by knowing him more and more. I pray in the name of Jesus that the grace to dwell in his secret place. His secret place is the place of knowledge, of knowing God, of worshipping him, of praying to him, of praising him, of fellowshipping with the brethren, of learning of him. The grace to make his secret place the right place, the most preferred place for you and I, the Lord will give unto us in Jesus' name. And his protection will never leave you and I in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The prayer point. Heavenly Father, help me to continually dwell in your secret place so that I may constantly abide under the shadow of your protection in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will give us the grace to continually dwell in his secret place so that we may abide under the shadow of his protection in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for being part of the review for today. God bless you. Amen.